You've probably heard that marketing is important, but if you didn't go to school for it, how do you even know where to start? The thought of designing campaign content can feel really overwhelming, but the good news is you don't have to be a designer to create pro-level marketing campaigns. So let's talk about the basics of creating a campaign with Adobe Express, the quick and easy create anything app. So first off, what even is a campaign? A marketing campaign is a series of content pieces that work together towards a specific goal, like promoting a product, launching an event, or building your brand. So think of it sort of like this, your emails, social posts, and web page all working together cohesively to get people's attention to drive home your key messaging. The assets that you create for your campaign really depend on your marketing goals and where your audience is. So this is a little bit of a guide to give you an idea of what kind of assets you may need to make. And it might not be all of the items on this list, but it might be some of them. Here is an example of some marketing materials that I created for a film that I made. And this included graphics for YouTube and Instagram, as well as some product photos that I used on my website and in my email marketing materials. So to get started with your own campaign, here are some key assets to keep in mind. First, you wanna have a really clear message. So what are you promoting? Who is it for? It helps to kind of make a list of these things to reference as you build out your campaign. The second is creating a look or a visual identity. And this is probably my favorite part of campaign creation. And this is where your brand colors, fonts, and style should stay consistent throughout all of the assets you create or pieces of content that you make. And I kind of like looking at design like getting dressed. You put together kind of a nice matching outfit, some coordinating accessories, channel that into your design by picking color color schemes that work together and fonts that really look great and are easy to read. And if you're struggling a little bit with color schemes, you can come on up here to Theme and Adobe Express and see some recommended color schemes that they have picked for you already. Or you can customize it by creating your own color theme and then adding your own swatches. Tips on fonts. I love matching a serif and a sans serif font together and picking typefaces like that that work together, create a little bit more of a dynamic look and add interest to your campaign. Adobe Express has a ton of different font options and lots of ways to customize them in the window on the left under text. The third thing is using templates. You've probably heard me talk about templates a lot if you've seen any of my videos. Using templates will save you so much time, especially if you are solo or a small team and have a lot of things to design. So make sure you really lean into that for your social posts, web page, flyers, banners, and anything else that you're creating for your campaign. One way to streamline the process is by setting up a brand kit directly into Adobe Express. And this is a really great way to keep all your assets on track, make sure everything matched like I talked about earlier. To quickly set up a brand kit in Adobe Express, navigate to the window on the left, click brands, create brand, name your brand, and then from there, you can follow the prompts to add your logos, color schemes, fonts, templates, and other assets that you've created for your brand or for your campaign to keep them all in one place. So you can add your logos, fonts, color schemes, and templates to your brand kit, and then apply that to your chosen template. That's all great, but like, what if you've never designed anything in your life? I'm gonna share a couple of really simple design principles that you can implement into your campaign right now. The first thing is you're gonna wanna keep it clean. Less is more. So you really don't wanna clutter your designs with too much text or too many fonts. It gets really overwhelming. Make sure your messaging meets your marketing goals and includes key information that you wanna get across and nothing more. The second is hierarchy, using hierarchy. So you wanna make sure that the most important information for your campaign stands out by either making it bigger, bolder, or a different color or highlighted. And this helps guide the viewer's eye to what you want them to focus on first when viewing your campaign assets. And again, it's super easy to customize all of these design parameters in Adobe Express by just clicking on your text, navigating to the window on the left, and then adjusting everything in the text window. And don't forget to explore some of those menu items where you can add drop shadows, add shapes behind your text, etc. The third thing is you're gonna wanna make sure you're consistent. So that means using the same fonts, colors, and styles across all of the content that you're making, leveraging your brand kit, to make things super simple. So here we're gonna start with a quick template in Adobe Express and if we've set everything up ahead of time with one click, we can customize the design with our brand kit. Then using all the tools available in Adobe Express on the left, we can edit text, add photos, delete things, and customize this ad based on our marketing goals, which we outlined earlier in this video. And then we can resize this design in one click for different platforms, and you can do a bunch at once or just do one. So as you can see with the right plan and tools, creating a campaign should be really fun and ultimately help you drive results. So try setting up your brand kit in Adobe Express, leverage templates, and you'll be amazed how quickly you can create content for your campaign that looks professional.